What's up guys, around here if you get tech and you are most likely stuck at your home due to the whole country's enhanced community quarantine. <coughs> COVID-19. You probably spent a lot of time scrolling through your social media accounts, specifically Instagram. So you heard the notification on your phone because someone mentioned you on their IG stories with those overlapping photos. Since there's nothing much to do, you want to know what the fuzz is about. Now, joining this trend would be an easy step for those who are on iOS since you can just literally copy a photo from your album then paste it through your Instagram story. But if you're on the Android ecosystem, it may take a few steps to make this copy and paste thing work. Also, keep watching until the end because we have a bonus for you Samsung users. Some Android smartphones doesn't let you copy and paste a photo on IG story. But we find a rather odd way to make this thing work. First is head over to Google Play Store then download SwiftKey. Do note that some devices have this keyboard already pre-installed so head over to this time code right here to skip this step. After downloading the app, of course you have to open it then set is as your default keyboard. When you're done setting up SwiftKey, head over to Instagram, tap on the camera icon on the top left corner, and in this step, you can either take a photo on the spot or you can opt to choose a photo from your gallery. Though, do take note that you can only access photos from your main photo album or your camera roll. Now, to add a photo, tap the text icon and then tap the emoji icon. You'll see a pin icon on the lower right corner of your screen, alongside with the emoji, GIF, and sticker. Now, after that, you'll see a camera icon on the top right corner of your keyboard. Tap that, then it will show you your gallery. Now, you can choose the photo you want to add and then tap the send icon on the lower right corner and the photo you have picked should appear on top of your main photo. Now, bonus for Samsung users. If you're on Samsung, you don't have to download SwiftKey anymore since you can do it using your native keyboard. So first, head over to Instagram. Then choose a photo of your main background and then go to gallery. Choose a photo you want, then take a screenshot of that photo, remove the excess part on your screenshot, then after that, head back to Instagram. After that, tap on the text icon. Now, your keyboard will pop up. On the right side of your keyboard, tap the three dot icon, then tap clipboard, and that's it. You can add as many photos as you want by repeating those steps. So if you know other way of doing this, let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yougetech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This has been Arel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.